It's a vast understatement that Teen Titans Go! is a controversial cartoon. Since the day it premiered, it's been causing some fans to rage and complain about it day in and day out. Now certainly, some of that criticism is valid. Cartoon Network airs it almost constantly, refusing to really let most of their other shows get in any airtime. The show has also taken to poking fun at its critics almost too much these past few years, almost seeming to be done less out of good-natured fun and more out of lack of confidence in their product. Because, come on, a couple of times is fine, but now they've devoted at least five or more episodes to calling out the critics. That's not usually something you do unless you're immature or you can't stand by your own show. I think that if the original show hadn't ended with unresolved storylines, the disdain for the show would be a lot less than it currently is. But what if this is all one big ruse? Or could be one? There's an episode of Teen Titans Go! The Fourth Wall that pokes fun at the fans who consider the original show to be superior to spinoff. In it, Control Freak reveals he caused the cancellation of the original and was the one who rebooted the Titans. The Titans decide to change themselves, but eventually want to be true to themselves and break the fourth wall to stop Control Freak from rebooting them once again. So, what if in a future episode, potentially a series finale, Control Freak reboots them and it goes back to the original show? The episode could begin much like any Teen Titans Go! episode, complete with lowbrow humor, mocking fans, etc. But, by the end, after finally defeating Control Freak once and for all, they are restored to their 2003 counterparts, and Control Freak is carted off the prison, or something similar. I'm not saying it's likely to happen, or that I'm necessarily rooting for this to happen. I'm merely asking, what if? It would certainly be in line with what's been established in that particular episode. Obviously, Control Freak realistically wasn't the one who canceled Teen Titans. Just like Dr. Manhattan isn't really the person who rebooted the DC Comics universe and changed everything. It's just the fictional explanation. The writers likely did not intend for the Season 3 episode to potentially open up the possibility of a reboot happening that would revert the Titans back to their previous selves and pick up from where they last left off. They were just satirizing the haters who prefer the original over the new one, no matter how insulting it is to mock fans for disliking something. Still, it is an interesting theory, and I would love to hear your thoughts on it. Anyways, so this was my first theory video. I know it's not as in-depth as others, but it just kind of came to me randomly, and I thought, hey, this would be a decent video. I may do other theory videos as they come to me. Let me know if you enjoyed this brief little video. Thanks for watching, and take care.